Okay, hello dear friends, good uh, afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And uh, now it's a California hot weave and uh, heat weave and it's so, so, so very hot. You can see me, <laughs> so hot. So I came to local library and the library closed, uh, uh, opened up and uh, these, during these heat weave libraries and the community center and these places opened up for people who need to get cool a little bit and I am very grateful. So I came to the library and uh, I found a room. So I went there to see if I can book up and uh, do some recording because I found a good book. And uh, I have booked this room for two hours. It makes me so happy. Look at it. The outside, it's so, so, so very hot. And my books, <laughs> a beautiful book. Let's read it. Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon, such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So now let's read this book. And this book is Dream of Red Mansions. And uh, it's one of the most famous, one of the four of the, one of the four of the Chinese classic literature. Shui Hu San Guo, Xi Yu Hong Lu. A dream of red mansions. And look at the painting, it's so good. You know this, you know Chinese about. It's a love story. It's, a, it's a very much talk, it's a, a, a Chinese romanticism uh, talking about people, about uh, human feeling, men and women feeling, and some deep, profound feeling. And um, and also relationship uh, and uh, power and uh, and uh, life. It's just a, a wonderful book. Portrait through the brush of Sun Wen. Hong Lo Meng. Hong is red. Lo is building a mansion. Meng is dream. Red building dream. A dream of red mansions. So we will not go through the preface <coughs> because I want to read the whole book. You will not see the words because I think the picture itself is just too beautiful. And I will not read word by word. So let's do it. Way back when the sky collapsed, the goddess Nu Va fixed it, fixed the sky by melting powerful stones to, melt, to mend everything together. At the end of her an endeavor, she has used up a lot of stones, but only one piece of stone was not used. Only one large stone remained. Over time, the stone developed an understanding of the universe. It slowly learned how to move and how to change its shape. It was finally taken away by a Buddhist monk and a Taoist priest. Many hundreds of years later, a Taoist by the name of Kung 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 means empty. My bottle is empty. My room is empty. And it means void. No, nothing. There is nothing. Kung Kung was out. When th there was a, a, a Taoist, Kung Kung was walking out. Uh, when he spotted a huge stone covered with inscriptions, a Taoist found a piece of stone with a lot of inscriptions on it. When he came closer, he saw that the writing formed an account of the life 
of the stone, the stone's life. The Taoist wrote down the story and hurried away. The same story was later copiously revised by Cao Xueqin, which is how we have come to know the story of the stone. Shi Tou Ji. So it's uh, by a, a famous uh, writer. His name is Cao Xueqin. He wrote down from these scriptures, script inscriptions. He wrote down the story, copied the story, and wrote it down. It became a dream of red mansions. I hope uh, uh, <coughs> this explains. Look at the painting. So we can take a bit, little bit look at the painting, just art style and artistic uh, expression. You can see the color. A little bit of green, a little bit of blue, and this is in Chinese painting. We call it the the Qing Lu Shan Shui. It's a very unique style or unique color that Chinese painting used very often. It's not very bright. It's not very sharp. Everything melange or or mixed a little bit, blended a little bit, and produce a feeling of, uh, of nostalgic, a feeling of uh, old time, classic, and just uh, this is a typical Chinese uh, uh, a style of painting, including its color. The story uh, recounted that there was once a man by the name of Zhen Shiyin. Zhen Shiyin must be this guy. <coughs> he lived in the city of Suzhou with his wife and his daughter Yinlian. He has a little daughter, Yinlian, and Yinlian was only three years old. One day he fell asleep at his desk and dreamed that he was walking towards a Buddhist monk and a Taoist priest. So he was sleeping in his red mansion. Oh, this is not red color. Maybe this wall is red color. A little bit uh, fainted red color. He was making a dream. He dreamed. He dreams himself of following the Taoist monk and the Buddhist priest. <coughs> and uh, the monk was walking to the priest saying, why don't we go together to the goddess of this enchantment and get rid of this stupid st object? So <coughs> the monk told the, 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 the priest, why are we so stupid? Why not we throw it away or give it to Nu Va? The book goddess of enchantment was uh, the Nu Va who built up, uh, built up the world, the initiation of the universe. It's according to Chinese fable and uh, Chinese legend. <coughs> when all the others when all the other romantic souls have gone down, we shall go there too. In his dream, Zhen Shiyin approached them and asked if he might be able to see the stupid object of which they spoke. They showed a piece of uh, translucent jade, and he was stunned by its beauty. The words, precious jade of spiritual understanding, were encarved into it. And on the back were many smaller words. Just as Zhen Shiyin began to read them, there came a clap of thunder, and he awoke. OK, so here we see the word the word precious jade of spiritual understanding. Ling Tung Bao Yu, precious Bao, jade. Oh, 
you need to see the English precious means bao, jade means yu, spiritual, uh, spiritual understanding. Ling Ling is spiritual. Tong is understanding. Yeah, spiritual, precious jade, precious jade of spiritual understanding. What a beautiful translation! I have uh, um, I have my memory of this book plus uh, plus the English reading. Actually, it <laughs> makes me understand this story a little bit deeper. Very interesting. Which means, Feng Yue Bao Jian. I am uh, going along with the Chinese uh, uh, Chinese version on my computer. You can I can read this same story on Chinese computer. So it's the Feng Yue Bao Jian, which is the the. I need to read the Chinese words to understand the, the English translation. It actually helps to understand uh, in a deeper sense in two languages. Shiyin opened his eyes, saw the nurse, came up to his daughter Yinlian in her arms. The nurse, where is the nurse? Shiyin opened his eyes and saw the nurse came up with his daughter Yinlian in her arms. Oh, the, the, the nurse, 应该是一个女佣。she picked up his daughter and went for a walk outside. A short while after, they had left the house. A Taoist priest and a Buddhist monk came towards them. As they approached, the monk suddenly began to cry. Why do you hang onto that unlucky child? She's a she's cursed, sir, and will bring you another and will bring you nothing but trouble. He sobbed. Give her to me, please, give her to me. Shiyin ran away from them, clutching cl clutching clutching his scared daughter in his arm, clutching his scared daughter in his arm. However, later, back in the house, Shi Yin considered that perhaps he should have questioned the two holy men to find out what they meant. While he was considering the strange events of the day, there was a knock at the door, in came Jia Yi Chun, Jia Yu Chun, ah, Jia Yu Chun. In came Jia Yu Chun, a poor scholar who lived at the temple nearby. So Jia Yu Chun came. This little girl was was cursed, according to the Buddhist monk and Taoist Taoist priest. I need to read the book by looking at the picture. Shi Yin directed Yu Chun to his st study and told him to sit and wait. He went and wait as he went to answer yet another knock on the door. As he was waiting, Yu Chun looked out, looked out of the window and noticed one of the servant girls tending the flowers in the garden. She suddenly looked up and caught his glance. She thought it must be that Jia Yu Chun, the master, is always on Xin 
she thought it must be that Jia Yu Cun, the master, is always on about. When thinking of this, she could not forbear to turn back for another peep or two. Always on about. Mm, that I do not understand. Seeing this, Yu Cun believed that the girl had taken a fancy to him and so considered her as a real friend in trouble. This must be the study. This must be Yu Cun. Yu Cun. So they came, they went to the room, and uh, Jia Yu Cun. Yes, inside the room, Jia Yu Cun saw the young lady, the nurse. When the when the mid autumn festival arrived, Shi Yin welcomed Yu Cun to his house to celebrate with him. After a long discussion and many drinks, Shi Yin agreed to pay Yu Cun to go to the capital to take part in the ex imperial examination. Mm. The imperial examination. Okay, let me do a calculation. It took me um, four pages. It took me 40 minutes. So each page, 10 minutes, and we have 240 page. That will be 2,400 pages divided by six. So we shall take 40 hours to read this book. Wow, that is a lot of time. Let's just keep on. 